So, hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, another Toyota Innova Zenix review. But this time, we will cover the V-Base model. So, this is the non-hybrid variant of the Innova Zenix here in the Philippines. I already toured the Innova Zenix Q-Hybrid. Link of that will be in the description down below. So, I'd like to thank everyone here again at Toyota Pasong Tamo, Sir Ray Basilio, and to Miss Roma. These are the contact details. So, if you want to visit them here or if you want to buy the all-new Toyota Zenix, you may contact them and visit their showroom. So, with this Toyota Innova Zenix V base model. So there's actually subtle changes on the exterior, but there's actually a lot in the interior. We'll get to that later on. So here in the exterior first, so surprisingly, I expected this to have halogen lights, but no, you still have LED lights all around, but there are no LED DRLs this time, and there's no LED repeaters right here, but it still has the fake vents over here. Ground clearance remains the same at 185 millimeters, and the wheels are smaller too. These are now at 17 inches, and you have Dunlop and Save Eco tires. So that's what I mentioned if you watch my Q Hybrid review already. But at least, surprisingly, you still get Dunlops. So I have nothing to complain with that whatsoever. So here on the side mirror too, you get repeaters here, but there are no longer cameras down here below. And the biggest change too with this Innova Zenix V variant. There's no hybrid badge over here. Speaking of... So now, open this one up. So you still get a 2-liter naturally aspirated 4-cylinder engine, albeit without the hybrid system now. But this one still produces 174 horsepower and 205 newton meters of torque. So like both models, these are mated to CVT transmissions. So if you notice straight away with the figures, without the hybrid system alone, this has more torque than that of the hybrid van, weirdly. Remember that has a combined figure of 188 Newton meters. This one is at 205 Newton meters. Hmm. So like with every Innova Zenix so far, the engine sits really, really low in the engine bay to give it a better center of gravity. And as well being the new Innova Zenix now, this is no longer a ladder frame chassis. This one now is a unibody, which is based on the TNGA platform now. So I expect for the comfort levels and the driving dynamics to improve from the older Toyota Innova. I did an older Toyota Innova walk-around review here too at Pasong Tamo. Link of that will be in the description down below. So on the side profile of this Innova Zenix v variant it still carries the trait a lot from the Q variant. You still have a lot of swoopy curves here on the rear door all the way to the tail light, and one bump here on the front door too. And then how you can tell the differences on the exterior wise besides the wheels between the Q and the V variant and the lights too. You don't have metal plate chromes here on the door handle and on the window sills too. The v variant is only black. So here now at the rear of the Toyota Innova Zenix v variant. so being the v variant, you get the V-Badge over here and the all-new Innova Zenix badges here on the left side. Black cladding over here with the fake vent yet again. Pretty much the same like with the q -Vran. I actually, when I shot for the q -Vran, I thought this will not have chrome here on the tailgate. But surprising, this v -Vran still has. So like what I said too with the Q walk-around review, rear door looks like that of the RAV4. And then the taillights itself looks much more or less like the Toyota Rush. However, what I did not expect at all with this v -Vran is to have a power tailgate. Yeah, I'm still stunned that... The base model still has a power tailgate. Practicality wise, features here in the boot is exactly the same. So you get the halogen light on the right side and then one headrest holder here on the left side that carried over from the older Innova. So as well, you have underfloor storage which houses your tire repair kit and some floor mats. The total space here with all of the seats up is at 239 liters. And folding down the third row is pretty much easy. Like with the Q, just pull these latches. Sorry, push these latches, and then you can fold it down easily. What I like too, it's a completely flat floor, and the total space now with the third row down is at 690 liters. So, that's about it with the engine, the exterior, and the boot of this Innova Zenix V variant. Let's check out the interior. So this is the interior of the Innova Zenix V variant. So like with the key variant, door tads much better than the previous Innova. So 
This is the interior. Looks much more or less than the Q hybrid van. But there's a lot more changes here since this being the base model. So similarities first. Here in the door card, exactly the same. The brown and black layout over here. Your surprisingly for your elbows, it's still leather here. You have cubby spaces and cup holders on each side. My big water jug fits. And then like with the Q again, you have a pop-out cup holder here on below the air conditioning vent. And then now this is where things get a little bit more different now. So below here on the left side, you have four blank buttons now compared than that of the Q. But still at least you have a button for your power tailgate. Here in the steering wheel looks exactly the same. You have your voice command and phone connectivity buttons on the left side. And on the right side, you have your cruise control buttons. Cruise control, remember, because this v variant now doesn't have the Toyota safety sense, nor the adaptive cruise control. So surprisingly too, being the V-based model, you still get paddle shifters. In the instrument cluster, you have your digital display in the middle, flanked by an analog setup on either side. But this time, you have a tachometer on the left side. There's no more eco and power mode. So here in the center console, looks much more or less the same. You still have the 10.1 inch infotainment system with the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Like what I said too in the Q Hybrid variant walk around review, the infotainment does not impede your visibility whatsoever. And then below the infotainment system, you have variation of buttons for your infotainment system, your air conditioning controls. And then here around in the gear shift, so you have one missing button now, which is for your EV mode. Nevertheless, everything is the same here along with the gloss black things. But like I said, I don't mind it because you're not going to be mostly touching the gloss black parts anyway. Further down below, you have your USB-C port, USB port, and then further back, you have a silver lining around the cup holders. My big water jug still fits. Same on the right side, you have your leather pad over here, a volt socket, and then a phone storage on the right, and then glove box, exactly the same. It's, it's short in height, but it is really, really wide. And then here in the center console box, this time it's black, it's no longer brown. It opens to the right. Still the same amount of space like with the Q Hybrid, no toys inside. And then above here, you have your light controls yet again. And surprisingly, being the v van you still have, I should have turned that on, you still have vanity mirror with light. Yet again, exactly the same. So, this is the biggest difference now, visually, with the v van compared with the Q. You get two-tone seats still, brown and black, but these are now in fabric. The quality and the feel looks very, very much the same like with its other competitor, the Mitsubishi Expander. However, compared with both the leather and the fabric, pretty much the same. They're both comfy in their own right. Of course, it would be much more plush and more feel more premium in the Q brand because it's leather. This one, I think this is more of my jam, gotta be honest. So remember what I said on the exterior, this does not have cameras below the side mirrors anymore so this does not have at all 360 degree camera but of course for this it has a reverse camera hopefully we'll demo that soon and when we get to test drive one of these so that's about yeah that's about here in front let's go to the second row so here now in the second row of the Innova Zenix V variant so the door cards exactly the same brown and black again and then leather for your elbows, cubby spaces, cup holders on either side. My big water jug still fits. And then, yep, much more improved, like what I said, than the older models. So surprisingly for the base model, you still get captain seats all around. It's still the two-tone brown and black layout, but it's now fabric, but still comfortable to say the least. And like what I said, then the Q variant too, you have only one armrest here, but when you put your elbows on either side, it's perfectly level, so nothing to complain about. So you still have your halogen light, air conditioning vent on either side, along with the ambient light strip here above. So I didn't expect that. I was expecting them to remove that for this v van, but thank God they didn't. Then you have my pockets on either side. And then again, you have the four kilogram hook right behind the front right passenger seat. And then in the middle, same layout again, you have your air conditioning controls along with two USB-C ports down below. So I forgot to mention this in the Q van. So no one they felt so much more spacious here in the second row because there's no more transmission panel right here. So this is a completely flat floor. So actually it feels so hunkered down even though you have a but high seating position. It feels so refreshing to sit here in the second row for both variants by the way. So same too, you have a foldable table here. You have Two cup holders with my big water jug and a place here for your 
phones or tablets and then how to fold it there's a button here again and it will fold so this is where things get a little bit more interesting so getting in the third row compared with the q variant everything is electronic adjustments so for this v variant as well forgot to mention in front everything's manually operated now including this captain seats but getting to the third row compared with the q variant since this is all manual it's much much easier and much much faster to get in as well same with the q variant the space there in the back as well it's all fabric exactly the same i have no issues whatsoever i'm still 5'4 by the way i'm not sure if i'm gonna grow anyway <laughs> so same layout Two, you have two cup holders on each side with my big water jug two cubby spaces two for your phones and then solely here on the left side you have a 12 volt socket two air conditioning vents for the third row so that's about it with this Toyota Innova Zenix v -Van. so this is the big talking point for me with this v -Van. so this one costs 1 million 670 thousand pesos a whopping 283 thousand pesos difference between both vans not gonna lie, without even test driving, if I had the budget, I would go for this base model because it's got everything I need. It's pretty much complete. They didn't remove some stuff here. Yes, I know for sure, maybe when I get to test drive both of these vehicles, I might regret not getting the hybrid because one, in the long term, it might be more fuel efficient and probably the tech too. Although this has cruise control, you know me, I'm not much of a cruise control guy anyways. So... I'll be honest, and as well, let's not forget this has more torque than that of the hybrid, but that is more instant. So anyway, so hopefully I can get test drives for both of these cars back to back, so I can give my verdict on which Innova Zenix should you get or which I would get. But for now, without test driving for the price point alone, I would happily get this Innova Zenix v -Van. So that concludes my walk around review. So special thanks to to ADN1011 he arrived when I was just about to shoot this v -Van. and as well to Toyota Pasong Tomo and to Sir Ray Basilio and to Miss Roman so yet again hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews there's ADN and more Toyota reviews and the test types for both this Innova Zenix variants bye bye